Okay, um, morning. <coughs> well, that's um, body power over for another year. Uh, if I'm honest, didn't really enjoy it. Uh, good to catch up with some old friends. Uh, but it's the first time I've ever been as a customer and I found myself sort of wandering aimlessly like um, a sheep, um, not really having much direction. Uh, the seminars for the large part don't interest me. Um, I don't really want to sit there and know what Kai Green's favourite protein is and at the end of the day the questions I want to ask he's not going to answer. Uh, a couple of strange things. Um, met Rich Piana. Um, he seemed a bit uh, taken aback by the size of me. Uh, in fact, I'm noticeably bigger than him. But uh, he's a really nice guy. I had a chat. Once he twigged who I was, because we've been speaking by email, he sort of opened up quite a bit. Uh, and I know James spoke to him later in an interview. Uh, James Grealish is doing the, the, the DVD and Rich has agreed or has shown an interest. So we're sending him um, a copy of the trailer that's out this Friday over. Uh, and hopefully he'll push it over in the States for us, which if he does, oh, well, that really is going to mean big things for that. Uh, bumped into a few others, bumped into a few people off the page, a few people that follow me on here, and it was nice to meet them and chat. A uh, couple of other surreal, well, surreal for me anyway, a um, couple of top amateurs that three years ago I was looking up to came running over to me wanting photographs with me, which was a bit strange. Uh, and then a couple of pros... Um, a couple of pros that are actually friends as well um, were very reluctant to be seen with me or to have their picture taken with me. In fact, one put an individual between us so there wasn't a direct comparison. So that was quite strange. Um, and you got to admit, it gives you a bit of a buzz. Of course it does. Uh, in general, uh, I've had the show a bit tedious um, it may have been me wandering around because I seemed to miss a lot of people but there did seem to be a distinct lack of bodybuilders and a hell of a lot of fitness people but then maybe it's just me um, I mean there were people there that I never saw that I assume weren't there and then found out afterwards that they were so uh, I could just have been missing people Enjoyed watching Andy Bolton lift. Pulled a three night on the dead like it was nothing, and unfortunately pulled a hamstring on a third at four thirty five. Jesus, that man's got some power. In fact, you know, I was more in awe of him than I was of all the pro bodybuilders, um, and I think to a degree that's because. Now, to me, the size of the pros isn't that unachievable. Now, don't get me wrong, the quality, the balance and the condition they carry is a different matter. But just the sheer bulk isn't that far beyond me. Uh, in some cases, I'm already beyond them. But being able to pull that sort of way is way, way beyond me, which is why I think I've, I've probably got so much respect for him. Uh, I was going to catch up with a few nutters like P.T. Welsh. <laughs> God, that man, does he ever stop? Um, anyway, came away from it. Oh, by the way, got engaged, uh, for those that don't know. Got engaged on a Friday morning. She said yes, the silly woman. <laughs> So Saturday night, we went to a hotel in Derbyshire called the Priest House. Very nice hotel, had a lovely meal, bottle of champagne, celebrated. And then we spent Sunday just dotting about sites in Derbyshire and just generally enjoying ourselves and being a normal couple, <laughs> which was enjoyable. Uh, back on diet yesterday, uh, head down, good training session yesterday. 
nice and focused. Chest and tries are quite sore this morning. And it's now um, back to business. Uh, PCT starts in a week on Thursday. Uh, I will be running 1000 IU as HCG every other day for 20 days. Uh, 40 mg of Clomid for 50 days and 100 mg of, sorry, 100 mg of Clomid for 40 days. Well, for 20 days and then 50 mg of Clomid for 20 days, 40 in total. And a 40 mg of Nova for 40 days and then 20 mg of Nova for 10 days. So that'll be my PCT. It's basically a watered down version of Dr. Scali's power PCT. The HCG has been reduced because I've run a baseline of 500 IU twice a week for my cycle. Then I will run Osterine uh, and I'll run that up until me restarting my cycle in September. Uh, the next cycle will be 2.5 G of test nth 1.5 G of Deca and then 1 mil of MPP laid over top ED every day and probably some oxy thrown in for good measure plus Aromacin, Proviron, Kerba and all the usual bits and bats that go with it. Um, looking to break 27 stone or 380 pound on my next cycle um, I think with my sleep issues sorted, which I get the equipment tomorrow and see the doctors on Thursday. And also with my changes in diet, which enable me to eat more food, uh, I'm probably throwing a bit of slin. I don't think it's that unachievable. I mean, I hit 360 odd this time. I had a net gain at my peak of 63 pounds. I'm only looking for 30, 27 pound in this next cycle. Still a lot, I appreciate that. But I think I've got it in me. Um, we'll see. It won't be for lack of trying. And the only thing that will stop it will be health issues. <laughs> now on that note, um, many, many, many moons ago, and probably 20 or more, I remember reading about a bodybuilder who was 400 pounds. Now, this bodybuilder turned out to be Greg Kovax. Now, at the time, I didn't realise he was six foot five. But, for some reason, the 400 pounds stuck in my head. And it's something I've always had there. Could I reach 400 pounds? Now, over the years, it's got pushed to the background. That probably not, probably not, probably not. But yesterday, I really got thinking about it. Now... At this size, obviously, an extra forty-seven pound of muscle is a huge amount of muscle, and there was no point in pushing for that sort of overall body weight if there wasn't, if it was weight for weight's sake. So, if I was just gaining fat to hit four hundred pound, it'd be pointless. But you know, I actually think it might be possible. It won't be easy. God knows if I can cope with the weight. I may only hit it for a couple of weeks and then have to come straight back down again. But I do actually think it might be possible. So we'll see. But, you know, there is... Deep in the back of me, this, this desire to hit that magic number. Um, not at all costs. Definitely not the cost of health or the cost of bad weight, but still, it would be something. The other thing I've brought away from body power is that if I made certain people uncomfortable this year because of my size, then next year I want them running for the hills. I want there to be no two ways that anyone who sees me isn't going to go, Jesus Christ, look at that monster. So, that job is on. Um, 
one step at a time now. I'm um, very focused in the gym, uh, but really sticking to form and feel. Uh, let all these niggles heal up. Uh, I'm not going to push away for weight's sake, but I am going to push the weight on. Uh, got to get very consistent with my training. Um, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. I mean, roughly size wise, on my last cycle, inch and a half on my arms, two inch on my calves, nearly three inch on my quads. I think it's three and a half inch, four inch on my chest. Waist is up and down because of distension, so it's difficult to tell uh, between nothing and an inch on that. Uh, so there were some really good gains. I still think I've got loads of groin in my lower half, um, and I think there's still room for improvement shoulders and back, chest, uh, chest obviously, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Arms, um, so I still think I can push them to consistent, 24 and a half at the moment. I reckon I can push them to 25 and a half, possibly a little bit more. So, uh, and that's it, time to get the head down. Um, Got to push keep things tight now uh, being off cycle is always a little bit of an anxious time uh, you've got to keep your paranoia at bay uh, you know and, and stop panicking about losing size I mean my last shot was Thursday so everything's still very active in my system but already I was like you know yesterday was the first real workout without feeling like I was on uh, and straight away you start thinking about it. I mean, that's another reason for training the style of my training to this um, slow and controlled stuff. Not quite TUT as I would normally run it, but tempo's about three up and three down. Is that I can't compare, and compare my strength because I'm doing the exercises in a completely different way. Hell keeps, keeps my head healthy. Uh, because as soon as I start seeing strength drops, I'll start getting paranoid and, and panicking that I'm losing size, I'm losing size. So this way I still push hard. I have no comparison. I stay off the scales and just check the mirror for any fat gain and keep it at that. Diet at the moment is very, very easy to maintain. I'm just ticking over. Uh, it's not massive numbers. I'm probably pushing between 350 and 500 grams of protein in and probably near the 350 mark than the 500 uh, and sort of 500 to 750 carbs. <laughs> there is a bit of variance. I'm not I'm not 100% consistent with the volume at the moment but I'm trying to nail that down a bit more. But work's getting busy as well which is adding to it all. But all in all, you know, um, I think I can say the experiment was definitely a massive learning curve both about how to tackle my diet uh, and of what I need to do to be able to handle the weight and I think this next cycle is going to be very very productive um, I am hoping to run growth at quite a high level but when I priced it up I was looking at nearly three and a half four grams worth so that's a big hole in uh, finances and I, you know, there are other priorities, family, I promise the family a big holiday this year and they will definitely come before any growth, so if the budget's not there, the growth won't be there, it's as simple as that. I don't think I've ever run growth at a high enough dose to be effective for me, so I'm hoping to run in a region of 18 to 20 IU every other day of pharma. But, like I said, so that's a pen every four days. But we'll see, because uh, at the end of the day, it comes down to cost. Uh, and if the money's not there, then it ain't going to be happening. Otherwise, apart from still holding shitloads of water, <laughs> um, all good. I feel pretty good. feel very positive. In a good place all around, really. Um, obviously, sleep is still an issue, but I'm pleased that we're moving forward with that. Back at the doctor's in about 10 days for urine and blood tests over my kidney function, but I'm not really worried at the moment unless something new crops up. And we'll go from there. I'll try and get a full set of bloods done before I start next cycle for baseline. 
and we'll see uh, how things go. But I hope you've enjoyed the journey. I hope you stay with me through this PCT period, which is going to be a bit boring, I know. But I will be honest about head fox and, and um, losing the plot a little bit and thinking I'm shrinking and all the rest of it. Um, and then um, come September, World War Three. <laughs> And just remember, trailers released on Friday for the DVD, and hopefully end of June, beginning of July, the DVD will be released. All right, all right, guys, I'll catch up with you soon.